Are you trying to figure out the best foods to support your ovulation? You are not alone. Whether you are trying to conceive or you just want to balance your hormones, what you eat can have a powerful impact on your ovulation. And today, I am going to break down seven science-backed foods that support ovulation and hormonal balance. So let's get into it. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Zainab Tajir. I am a homeopathy doctor and fertility specialist and I specialize in helping couples conceive naturally through homeopathy and holistic lifestyle changes. So if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, did you know your ovaries need fuel? And no, I am not talking about calories. I am talking about micronutrients, antioxidants, fats and protein and these support follicle development, hormone synthesis and egg maturation. A research was published in the Harvard Nurses Health Study and it found that women that followed a fertility diet had a 66% lower risk of ovulatory infertility and that can make a huge difference. So let's talk about the top foods to support your ovulation naturally. The first is leafy greens like spinach, kale, methi. These are high in folate and iron. They support your egg quality and implantation. Folate is also an essential for DNA synthesis in developing follicles. In fact, research studies have shown that folate levels are positively associated with progesterone and ovulation. So, make sure that you have a bowl of palak dal or methi paratha at least 2-3 to three times a week. The second food is eggs. It is a nutrient powerhouse. It is rich in choline, vitamin B12, vitamin D and omega-3. Choline supports fetal brain development and helps improve your egg quality and vitamin D is linked to improved AMH and ovulation. So go for pasture raised or omega-3 enriched eggs. The third important food is berries. Blueberries, strawberries or amla. These are rich in antioxidants and antioxidants fight the oxidative stress in your ovaries and protect your eggs. A study in reproductive biology and endocrinology in 2012 found that oxidative stress is a major cause of poor egg quality in women. So make sure that you add these to your smoothies, yogurt bowls or you can also have them as snacks. The fourth group is seeds, flax seed, pumpkin seed, sunflower seeds. These are all hormone balancers. They are rich in zinc, selenium, omega-3 and vitamin E. They support estrogen detox, progesterone production and reduce inflammation in your body. So you can definitely try seed cycling to align with your menstrual phases. I have an entire video that goes into detail about seed cycling. You can check that video here. Now the fifth food group is full fat dairy. Let's say paneer, ghee, curd. According to studies, full fat dairy is associated with improved ovulatory function and paneer provides protein plus fat which helps with a steady hormone production. Ghee, it contains butyrate, a gut friendly fat that supports hormonal health. So definitely include these in your diet. The sixth food group is complex carbs such as sweet potatoes, rajgira, foxtail millets etc. What these do is that they help you stabilize your blood sugars and improve your insulin sensitivity. And as we already know, insulin resistance can have a negative impact on your ovulation especially when you are planning for a conception or you are struggling with PCOS. So try and swap your simple carbs like roti and rice with more complex carbs like jawar, bajra, foxtail millet etc. The seventh is lentils and beans. These are plant protein and are rich in iron and folate. So women who ate more plant protein had a lower risk of ovulatory issues according to a Harvard fertility diet. So moong dal or rajma at least four times a week. Let's talk about the foods you need to avoid or limit especially when trying to conceive. The first is trans fat, packet snacks, margarine, 
the second is refined sugar and white carbs thirdly avoid excessive caffeine more than 200 milligrams a day and stay away from tobacco and alcohol for at least three months before you are planning for a conception because all of these disrupt your sugar balance increase hormonal imbalance and also mess with your ovulation remember the food that you eat is a powerful way to support your ovulation and the best part it is entirely under your control also one of the key things when you are planning for conception is understanding when you are ovulating and tracking your ovulation well to improve your chances at conception so if you want to learn how to track ovulation time your intercourse right and support your ovulation naturally check out my new course the ovulation code it is a complete step-by-step -step guide with video lessons printable trackers and lifetime access and i am also providing a 30 percent off for a week to most of you can benefit from it the link is in the description below and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel i will see you again next week